Happy Wednesday, my beautiful YouTube family. Today, I'm going to show you my take on some string art mixed with a little bit of painting to give it some dimension. So what you're going to need for this string art piece, you're not going to need a level, but you will need a printout of whatever kind of word you want to do if you can't freehand it. Some small nails, paintbrushes, paint, spray paint, sanding paper or a sander if you have it, some strings and scissors and some tape that is not shown here. Yes, one side is already prepped, but I'm still going to show you how to do it anyways. You're going to sand down the area that you want to work on, make sure there's no nicks, and then you're going to want to wipe it down. Little secret, I've had this piece of wood for about three years prepped and ready to go for this DIY why and I never got to it but what you're gonna do is just spray paint it whatever color you want to add the studs all you're gonna need are some push pins and a hammer and you're gonna just hammer them into the side at your discretion with the spacing until your heart's content and you can do it all the way around or partial it doesn't really matter if you have any big dents that you can't avoid just add some wood putty let it dry and then paint over it I am not a good artist, nor am I good at freehanding, so I went ahead and printed this out on my computer and taped it directly to the surface I'm gonna work on. With your nails and hammer, you're gonna outline the word that you want in string. So that means literally hammering a billion nails around the entire word until it looks something crazy like this. Before you pull your quote off, if you have any areas that you're just gonna paint but you don't wanna freehand and you don't have tracing paper, you just need to rub some lead on the back of the paper where the lettering is, and then once you trace on top of that paper, it will actually like transfer through onto your piece of wood and you'll have an outline of what to paint. Once you rip off the printout completely, it's gonna look kind of crazy, but trust me, you're gonna tie your string to one end of the word. When you have this in person right in front of you, you'll actually be able to see the word pretty clearly with the amount of nails that you hammered in. So just filling in the spaces, connecting the string and wrapping them around the nails will make a lot more sense. You don't wanna start in the middle, obviously, because you're gonna work your way from one end to the other, creating the word, and there's no rhyme or reason, but a good way to do it is to outline the word first, like you see right here, and then fill it in by wrapping it around the nails, like in a full loop, and just kinda of connecting it at random until it's full and you like it. Once you're hyped on the fullness, all you have to do is tie a finishing knot around one of the nails wherever your string is closest to and cut off the excess. This does take a little bit of patience depending on if you're doing calligraphy like you see here or if you're doing box letters like capital letters, those are much easier. So if you choose to do calligraphy, just know you need a little bit of time. Because I wanted to paint some of my quote, I'm just gonna take a small paintbrush and some black paint to finish it up and there you have it. I absolutely love how this turned out. I love the calligraphy aspect of the font versus just the boxy letters. And the gold little finishing nails you can get at any hardware store. And I just got the studs, like the push pins, to match them so the metallic was the same throughout. All right, guys, that is it for me today. I will see you Friday for another video.